guys, Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista. And in this video, I am going to teach you how to add a drop down menu to your website. I do want to preface this by saying that I don't recommend using drop down menus. Um, it's better to have all of your pages in the main navigation and try to have a lot of content on really long pages. Um, that's better for mobile, especially because these drop down menus are not going to work on mobile. Um, but uh, there are some cases where people may need to have a drop down menu, and so I want to show you how to do that. Um, in general, in your template, you probably have a, a header. So I would start by going to your header, and so I'm going to edit this canvas. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add a couple of canvas views. So first canvas view, I'm just going to leave it completely empty. I'm going to add another canvas view and this is where I'm going to put my first menu. Um, and any additional menu that you would do, you would just put that in another view. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draw a box. So I'm going to center this to be under the weddings um, heading. So if I grab those two and I center them, they'll be even. And I'm gonna make this blue. I'm gonna make it a little taller. And then I'm just gonna copy this heading right here and make sure it's on top of the blue um, so that it matches the rest of the heading tags. Uh, and if I grab those two things, I can center them. And I'm gonna repeat it again because we're gonna just pretend that I have like three pages in this drop down. Um, and I'll center everything again. And then I'm going to even out the spacing a bit. So something more like that. And I might actually add lines, really thin lines in between them. And I'm not worried about the way that this looks on mobile because it's not actually going to appear on mobile. Generally, when I design, I have both um, desktop and mobile on so that I can make sure that things look good on mobile. Um, but for demo purposes, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to make this line the same width as the other box. So 154, 154, and then I'm going to space it out evenly between the two elements. Oh, it looks like I have two lines. So I'm going to put one line in between these two versions of weddings, and then I'm going to move this up and just like start evening them out a bit. Same here, and then same down here. I can probably be more exact with my spacing, but I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, I'm going to grab all of these elements and I'm going to put them in U2. And then I'm going to give this one a different click action. So I don't want this to link to a page anymore, otherwise it's not going to show that next canvas. Um, I'm going to need this to link to a canvas and this canvas, and then I'm going to make it U2. Um, and so if I come back to my home page and I go to preview, and I click on weddings, it'll show it right here. And I would, if I was actually doing this, I would change the colors of the hovers and I would add links. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick idea of how to add a drop down. You could also come back here if you needed like a drop down under this anniversary, and you could duplicate this. And then I would just rename that to three. And then you would just move everything under here. And again, if I was actually doing this, I would be more precise, but I'm just going to be really fast right now. And you would put that right there. Um, and then I would change the click action in here to go to this canvas and then U3. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the show it team, or you can reach out to us at support at